ACROSS THE METRO ARE ALSO INVESTIGATING A RASH OF ROBBERIES THIS WEEKEND. KETV NEWS WATCH 7'S DAVE ROBERTS IS LIVE WITH THE DETAILS TONIGHT. EIGHT CRIMES IN LESS THAN 24 HOURS AND POLICE THINK THAT ONE MAN IS BEHIND THIS RASH OF ROBBERIES. TONIGHT WE'RE GOING TO GIVE YOU A LOOK AT THE ARMED SUSPECT. This is the crook police want to catch. He's armed, he's dangerous, and he's not giving up his criminal quest for quick cash. We do know that one of the robberies last night, he did order a person to the ground on his knees by holding the gun. So at, that, at this point, that just tells me that you know, he's capable of doing anything. So far, Council Bluffs police think this brash bandit hit seven businesses, maybe eight. In Iowa, three gas stations and two motels, one in Carter Lake. In Nebraska, a hotel, a Walgreens. Then Sunday afternoon, another armed robbery at a Council Bluffs come and go. KETV News Watch 7 cameras rolled as police collected clues, but so far, it's not enough to say it's the same guy. We're still trying to determine whether that individual is the same one that's been involved in the uh, robberies from, from uh, last night or early this morning. Right now, it's the public safety most at stake. Investigators consider this robber a deadly threat. They need to be on extreme caution. Um, he is blatant enough that he'll do whatever it takes uh, to get whatever he wants at this point. We know the crook's not afraid to pull a gun. Hopefully, he's smart enough not to use it. We don't need someone to, to try and be a hero out of this. Uh, just comply with whatever that suspect is telling you, and, and we'll try to deal with that later on. Omaha and Council Bluffs police are working this case together. Now, there's not much of a suspect description because he does a pretty good job of covering up. However, we do know that he is a white man, likely in his 20s. But what's scary is we still don't know what he's capable of. We're live downtown Omaha. Dave Roberts, KETV, News Watch 7.